What is up guys, my name is Ted, coming at you with a 25 and 1 uh, team deathmatch on firing range. This is continuing my quickie series where I go over uh, different guns every single time. And uh, preferred attachments, damage statistics, stuff like that about every gun. Trying to give you all some feedback on different assault rifles in the game, different submachine guns, things like that. So that you know uh, which guns you like the best, why I use certain guns in most of my gameplays, etc, etc. Uh, in this gameplay, as you can probably see by now, I've got the FAL. This is a very rare gun for me to be using. I'll tell you why in a little bit. Um, starting off with the damage statistics, uh, it does drop your opponent quite quickly. It's a two bullet kill close range and a three bullet kill at long range. The damage drop off starts after about 37 and a half meters, making this gun a two bullet kill without shooting through a surface for about 100 feet. Um, at 150 feet, it'll start being a three bullet kill and it'll be a three bullet kill entirely until um, either you shoot through a surface or um, you just can't see the person anymore. So it's always going to be a three bullet kill at any range. As long as you can get those three bullets on the guy and he's not behind a surface, you're going to get the kill. Um, as far as recoil patterns go, it goes up or left almost all the time. So uh, if you're going to try to tame the recoil or if you've got a good trigger finger, make sure that you try to bring your joystick a little bit down to the lower right. That'll counteract the, the recoil quite a bit. It's got a low center spread, which is a bad thing. Um, basically, the center spread is 1400, which means that it'll take a little bit longer than most other assault rifles for the gun to even out and go back to its starting position. Um, you'll notice with, with some guns, like the FAMAS, um, the spread's very tight, the gun doesn't bounce around very much. That's the center spread. What the, what the FAL has is with a low center spread, the gun bounces around quite a bit and takes a long time to get back to the uh, starting position, the resting position. Um, it's a bad thing, but it's not too low, it's not as low as the M16 is. So um, as long as you just don't rapid fire too much, as long as you use a nice gentle, you know, uh, gentle rap, gentle fire, uh, just don't don't try to waste all your ammo on one guy. Try to get about two to three people per clip. Um, if you put if you position yourself that way and you don't take too many shots per person, then you should do all right. Um, the rate the uh, uh, excuse me, the rate per minute or the why can't I think of this? The uh, the fire rate. I, I don't know what the RPM stands for right now. I don't know why. Rounds per minute. I don't, I'm stupid. Uh, the rounds per minute is 625. So basically, if you have a mod, which I don't suggest doing, but if you did have a mod, um, it shoots a little bit slower than the infield, but um, a little bit faster than the M60. That's kind of a way to put it there. Uh, the mag size is 20, unless you add extended mags, and it's 30. The reload is 2.5 seconds, 3.1 seconds empty, and it takes 2 seconds to add ammo, which means that if you do the reload cancel, YY, sprint, things like that, it's only going to be 2 seconds. Um, it takes 0 0.95 seconds, or excuse me, 0 0.85 seconds to raise, that's faster than most assault rifles, and 0 0.6 seconds to drop, which is very common with all the other assault rifles. Obviously, a 2.5 or 0 0.25 second aim down sight and a 95% run speed. Uh, that's, that's common with all the assault rifles there. Um, overall, I like the red dot sight on it. I like the dual mags on it just for more ammo. Um, not Silencers, definitely not recommended because you want to keep the two and three shot kills um, at further ranges. So you want to have a two shot kill for as long as you can because uh, what's the point of having the gun if you're not going to have a two shot kill? It's the only thing that puts it over the uh, other fully automatic rifles in the game. Um, it's better than the M14, less recoil, higher center spread. So um, as far as that regard goes, definitely take it over the over the M14. Um, M14 is probably the worst assault rifle there is in the game. If I had to sh if I had to put one out, and I'll probably be doing a video with that one later on. However, it's a very hard rifle to get a game with. Um, as I said before, final score of this game was 25 and one on firing range. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. It helps me out quite a bit. If you want to see more of these videos, click the favorite button uh, and click the subscribe button. I mean. Uh, that'll keep you posted on any videos that I post up later on so uh, you can see all these hot rifle videos I'm going to come out with later. Uh, all these hot rifles, all the submachine guns, shotguns, sniper rifles, I'm going to go through all those in later videos. Stay subscribed and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.